All righty. Hello and welcome to this 20 minute slow flow, a little bit shorter um, for today. So if you have just a little bit less time, this is good to do if you are in a time crunch. Um, oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. So it's a little bit dark, darker in here. You just always wanna make sure that you set up your space. If you have a space, remember um, it's good if it's quiet. It's good if you have incense or candles or anything of the sort. And um, in the month of May here, we are focusing on this restoration, this new life, um, this new this newness that God is creating within us. So um, I'm going to be reading Ephesians 20 to 24 from the message. And I'm just going to read it once since we have a shorter time. So we're going to be here, here not very long. So if you want to start kind of stretching or moving, you can go ahead and do that. I always like to take a pause before we start class. So just come into whatever's comfortable for you. I, I like hero's pose, bending your knees. If that's too much for your knees, you can extend your legs out long. Um, if you want to lay down, um, you want to put your legs up against the wall, your back up against the wall, whatever you feel like you need. So go ahead and close your eyes, deepen your breath. And I want you, before we read these words, to place your hands on your heart, wherever you are. Just sending an intention. So letting this word kind of seep into your heart. Maybe it's um, peace or light or love or um, just choosing to really show up here in the present moment. Whatever it may be, just take a moment to just allow that to enter into your heart. And if nothing comes, that's okay too. Just calming the mind and the body, deepening the breath. And you can choose to keep with your hands on your heart or maybe kind of ask God to guide you through this practice maybe um, put a word or something on your heart that you can kind of carry throughout the rest of your day. So staying here with your hands in your heart or extend your arms um, kind of like, um, I've done this in church before. I, I, I forget, maybe the benediction where you kind of just cup your hands. So bringing your, your pinkies together, offering this little cup. So either using this cup to receive something from Jesus today. So maybe you, you, he's filling this little, this little cup here in your hands with something, with that intention, with those words, whatever it may be, with your eyes still closed. Or since we're focusing on this thing of letting go, of, of kind of releasing our burdens to let go of this old life and step into this new life, maybe you want to offer it up. So maybe even raise your hands higher. If you want to raise them towards the sky, you can. And just kind of lift it up. Like um, just allow God to just take this burden, take whatever it is that you're holding on to that you just need to release and just release that. So whatever that looks like for you personally. Taking a pause here, breathing in, breathing out. Lord, we love you and we thank you for this practice. We thank you for this sacred space. Help us to just um, allow the things to flow in our hearts that's needed, that we need, which we need more of you. So maybe peace, love, light, presence, whatever it is, just fill our hearts with that. And if we're choosing to let go of whatever that thing is that is kind of um, bothering us or um, allowing us not to be as close, thank you for taking that. Thank you for taking that burden off our shoulders, out of our hands. I just pray that you draw us closer to you. And every time we have an intrusive thought or a thought that we just don't need or something that's kind of lingering there, we just offer that up to you. Sending our intentions and hearts closer to you each and every day. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. So go ahead and flutter your eyes open. I'm going to be reading Ephesians. I was going to read Ephesians, but then that just came to me. 
I don't know. Um, <laughs> some things, sometimes things just come to me. Um, what I've really been practicing on my own um, spiritual walk with God each day is when I have a thought, when I have something that's kind of triggering or bothering me, I offer it up to God. So either you can do the, the cup or you can just say, I offer it up to you. Release. <laughs> release it out of my mind, of my body. Um, I don't need this thing anymore. So I'm, I'm giving it, I'm laying it down here on my mat, here at the altar, here in this space. Um, so go ahead and come into a child's pose where I will read our scripture for today. Take your knees out wide, bring your toes to touch as we move through the slow, slow flow. So remember we're moving slow. We're just kind of getting into the sticky spots today. Spread your fingers out wide. If you want to add a little bit more today, maybe even tent your fingertips. Getting into your shoulders, breathing in, expanding your chest, your upper back, and then sighing out. Ephesians 4, 20 to 24 from the message says, but that's no life for you. So this, this way of, of living that's not pleasing to God, that's not serving God, that's no life for you. You learned Christ. My assumption is that you have paid carefully attention, careful attention to him and been well instructed in the truth, precisely as we have it in Jesus. Since then, we do not have the excuse of ignorance. Everything, and I do mean everything, connected with that old way of life has to go. It's rotten through and through. Get rid of it. And then take on an entirely new way of life a God-fashioned life, a, renew, a life renewed from the inside and working itself into your conduct as God accurately reproduces his character in you. So choosing to live this God-fashioned life, this life renewed, offering up this thing that's no longer serving you, laying your burdens down, choosing to stay in your child's pose if you'd like to, or let's go ahead and find our flow. So we're just going to move through a little slow flow today. Bring yourself into your tabletop, spread your fingers, and then just find your cat and cow. Reach your gaze towards the sky, point your belly button towards the mat, breathing in, roll your shoulders down your back, and as you breathe out, bring your chin towards your chest. So recently we've been kind of finding our own little flow. So if you want to move through your cat and cow, if you want to move through a cat and cow um, kind of hip remix, you can do that. Whatever kind of feels good to you. You know, I always love my hip circles. Um, if you are uh, pregnant like me, hip circles are really good. Um, you can find more prenatal classes in my prenatal member section. If you um, want to learn more about that, which I love to teach more prenatal stuff as well. Even if you're not pregnant, it's fun to do prenatal because it's just uh, more restorative, more easy, not as intense. Just taking it easy. So just listening to the body here, finding those cat and cow, the hip circles, whatever you feel like you need here. And then gently walk your palms towards the top of your mat, coming into your puppy pose. So bring your hips over your knees, really getting into your shoulders here. Press your um, heart a little bit closer towards the mat. Maybe grab a block underneath your forehead, breathing in and breathing out. Go ahead and peel your toes under, maybe engaging your core just a little bit today. Hover your knees off the mat. So just engage your core getting into your toes, big breath in, and then exhale, move into your down dog. Pedal out your knees, wag your tail, shake your head, whatever it is you feel like you need in this space. We're just gonna do a little bit of a modified um, sun salutation. So walk your palms towards the back of your mat, finding your fourth fold. Take your feet about hip width. Let your head hang here. If you want to head fang ragdoll and hold onto your elbows, you can, or you can just tent your fingertips. Maybe bend your knees a little bit deeper here. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth.
Ground down into your feet, root down, rise up, reaching your palms up towards the sky. Inhale, and then exhale, bring your hands to heart center. So remember to pull the pit of your belly in. Maybe even bring your hands to your heart, sending that intention, or bring your hands into that cup once more, just offering up those thoughts, offering up anything that's kind of weighing you down that you just need to let go of. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring your palms by your sides and then reach your palms up towards the sky. So let's just find two or three of these totals. So reach your palms up high, maybe add that back bend if you'd like to, breathing in and then exhale, hands to heart center. Let's just find two more. Big breath in, just warming up the arms and then exhale, hands to heart center. Finding one more, big breath in and then exhale, hands to heart center. While you're here, since this is a um, slow, shorter flow, just reach your right leg towards the top of your mat. So if you're a beginner, you can um, bring it closer. So walking your feet closer together, finding this high lunge. If you want a little bit more, maybe take your feet further away from each other. Knee is over your ankle, coming into this high lunge, breathing in and breathing out. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. You can choose to stay here, bring your left hand in front, your right hand behind you, coming into a gentle twist. Spread your fingers, inhale through the nose, and then exhale, reach your palms back up towards the sky and open up to your warrior two. So bringing that back foot down, warrior two, looking out over your right palm, big breath in. And exhale, flip your right palm, peaceful warrior. So just breathing through this side body stretch. You can choose to stay here deep in the bend in your right knee or bring yourself into your side angle. Elbow to knee, reach your left hand high. Lift your toes, bring your gaze towards the sky. So you can choose to stay in either of these shapes. So we're just gonna kind of um, warm up the legs just a bit. So we're gonna feel it in the legs. So back to peaceful warrior. And then to side angle. So lovely. Let's find one more peaceful warrior. So beautiful, deep in the bend in your right knee. And then side angle. So really getting into those legs, moving through this slow flow, breathing in. See if you can lift and spread your toes, feel your heart towards the sky, and then simply straighten your right knee. So moving into your triangle pose, breathing in through the nose. Maybe even adding a smile, <laughs> doing so beautifully. And then windmill that right hand down. Find your wide-legged forward fold. Take your heels out wide. Toes are kind of pointed inward. Lift and spread your toes and then just hinge over your hips. Bend your knees. Breathing in. Breathing out. Remember, you can choose to say in any shape for as long as you like to. You can choose to lightly bend your knees back and forth. Or you can just choose to find stillness here. Whatever feels most comfortable for you. This feels really good for me personally. I love getting in the hips and the legs. So maybe choosing to pause if you're watching the recording at any time, you can pause and stay in any shape or uh, bring yourself towards the back of your mat. So we're gonna find that same flow Ooh, if I can find my balance, <laughs> finding that high lunge facing the back of your mat. So maybe bring your hands on your hips. Make sure your hips are square towards the back of your mat. Remember, you can face the front of your mat if you don't want to face the back of your mat. Coming into your high lunge. So maybe staying here, bring that left hand behind you. You're right in front. Spread your fingers. Inhale. And then as you exhale, come back to your high lunge. See if you can lift your toes on your left foot, your back right heel is pointed towards the back of your mat and then open out to your warrior two. So lovely. So remember you can stay here in your warrior two, pulling that pit of your belly in, look out over your left palm or flip your left palm piece warrior. So maybe you wanna stay here or maybe you wanna come into a side angle, elbow to knee or maybe palm to a block, reach your right hand high. Breathing in and then exhale. Peaceful warrior. 
Let's find two more. Side angle, moving through this slow flow, deep in the bend in your left knee. Your, your knee is pointed towards your pinky toe. Back to Peaceful Warrior. One more, breathing in, side angle. Inhale, exhale, Peaceful Warrior. Whew, really feeling it in the legs today. We don't, I don't teach as much as this, as much as I used to, because my legs are burning a little. <laughs> Back to side angle, open up, staring at one spot in front of, or on the ceiling there, lift your toes, and then straighten your left leg coming into your triangle. So, Beautiful, taking a pause in your triangle. So remember, we're not dumping into this left leg. Your left foot's on 12 o'clock. Your right foot is at, is pointed towards the side wall. Your hips are square towards the side wall. Coming into your triangle, inhale. And then exhale, either windmill your right hand down, coming into that wide-legged forward fold. So just where we were before, heels out wide. Or if you want to come into one goddess. So take your um, feet out your toes out wide instead of your heels. And then just come into one little goddess, pulling the pit of your belly in. So either wide-legged forward fold or goddess pose, whatever feels comfortable. If you wanna add the arms, you can go ahead and do that. Maybe just kind of pulsing a little bit. Inhale, exhale. One more breath in. And then exhale, reach it back up. Coming out of your wide-legged forward fold if you're there. Coming back to the top of your mat. Inhale, upward facing dog, reach the crown of your head high. If you're choosing to come into your up dog or just meet in your down dog. Lightly bend your knees. Finding your breath. Breathing in, sighing out, and then gently coming back to your child's pose. Finding rest here. Seeing if you can really slow down the breathing, slowing down the heart rate. Hearing these words one last time. Ephesians 4, 20 to 24 from the message says, but that's no life for you. You learned Christ. My assumption is that you have paid careful attention to him. Been well instructed in the truth, precisely as we have it in Jesus. Since then, we do not have the excuse of ignorance. Everything, and I do mean everything, connected with that old way of life has to go. It's rotten through and through. Get rid of it. And then take on an entirely new way of life, a God-fashioned life, a life renewed from the inside and working itself into your conduct as God accurately reproduces his character in you. Breathing in, sighing out, maybe choosing to stay in your child's pose as your final resting pose if you would like to do that today, or make your way into your final resting pose if you need a happy baby, a supine twist, legs up a wall. You can go ahead and find whatever is most comfortable for you. Whenever you're ready, just find your final resting pose. We'll be here for just a few moments in the stillness and the silence. Just finding this sacred space, this peace with Jesus. Just letting everything go.
breathing in, gently sigh it out. Maybe you want to choose to linger here, which is a-okay. You want to just use this time to find rest. Or make your way to a feel good morning stretch or roll over to one side, whatever you feel like you need. And then meet in your seat whenever you're ready. There's no rush to get there. Maybe with your hands on your heart or your hands cupped, just like we started. And maybe instead of offering up now, you're just receiving God's light, God's love, God's peace. Just kind of dropping that heavy, heavy burden and picking up that lightness that he that he gives us, that peace. Lord, help us to live this God fashion life. Help us to live this renewed, restored life with you. Help us to let go of the things that just don't serve us anymore, to feel what we feel to lay our feelings down, our burdens down, our emotions down, anything that we may be holding on to. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for guiding us and help us to draw closer to you each and every day. In your name that we pray, amen and namaste. It's always an honor to be here with you. Thank you for enjoying this shorter flow with me. Um, as always, if you have any prayer requests or feedback or um, scriptures you would like for me to add or uh, shapes or poses you would like for me to add during class, please feel free to reach out. And I hope to see you very soon.